Hello all, in today's video we're going to do uh, Temple of Ishan, the achievements. So in theory we can get them all. So don't allow any of three orbs exist in time, that basically just happens by default. We're going to be maximum echo and I'll explain that in a moment. And the other achievement is no orbital explosions and that's simply done by punting the ads away and letting them despawn when Ari uh, activates and I'll explain that when it happens. So the very first thing that you want to do before you do any achievements here is clear out the trash. There are going to be four total trash that you need to clear out at minimal. Over here there's going to be one roamer that goes east and west. Just kill it whenever it happens. There are two static mobs here. One right here and another right here. And the last trash that you need to clear is over here. This is the banished room. And I'll explain exactly what that means later on. So in today's group setup, I have Ganarak, which is a cleric, Drunic, which is a shaman, Allison is a berserker, Caldevin is a ranger, and Junair is a beast lord. So moving into the staging area here, hope everyone has the updated goods maps. If not, look at this map here. There's going to be four aura locations. There's going to be Earth, which is right over here, where Jun is standing. Shadow is going to be in the northwest over here. Ice is in the center, where we're currently standing at and fire in the southeast over here. So maximum echo. This achievement is obtained during the first part of the event. So for those that have done this mission or not, you know, when Ari hits 60% and flies away, that's basically then you can't do the achievement anymore. Everything happens at the beginning. So don't over DPS at all. Like don't even bother DPS in the dragon at all. Um, I'm going to be tanking the dragon over here. Reason being is that the dragon has a frontal and a rear attack. So by tanking him here, it should keep the guys uh, mostly safe from the AE. So what's going to happen here is there's some things that are timed. Uh, once we start the engagement, we basically waiting. And as soon as the curse of the intruder happens, when it's about four seconds to fade, that's when the first aura happens. They lowered the damage of that dot tremendously. It's pretty low, less than 10k. So just heal through it. Once everyone has it, then we resume our stuff. 30 seconds after the aura spawn, the aura start to activate in 10 seconds interval. The very first aura that activates is Earth, which is going to be a giant dome. June is going to run in a circle. Um, there's a timer to it. And basically, once the timer runs out, he will drop a giant dome wherever he is standing and if he keeps on moving he should be able to avoid it so having additional run speed is a good thing for this situation here the second aura is going to be shadow and allison is handling that and basically he's going to get banished southeast of us right over here and he simply just needs to run back the third aura is going to be ice which is going to be the tether drunic is just going to be standing in that spot and He's going to be in heal range of everybody, so that shouldn't affect anybody. The last aura is fire, which is going to be Caldevin. It's going to uh, poop out a giant red aura. Basically what he does is it drops one, he moves out of the aura, waits, drops another, moves out of the aura, moves out. There's a total of three. Once the three are done, everyone gets back kind of close to each other, but not in range of the auras, because you could override it. So for example, if Caldevin was too close to Drunic, like here, his fire aura would get dispelled and he would get ice so that would be a bad thing so just having the awareness to stand within heal range but not in the aura range is very important so let's just get this going because this is a fairly long achievement if you notice i'm going to be positioning ganarak uh, between allison and myself so that group heals will land there as well um, okay Here we go. I'm just going to switch to a no damage uh, primary, the dark cone from Sebelus Hardcore. And basically, this is a weight game. So once you get the five, the event is normal. You push Ari to fly away at 60, and then you got to deal with the golem, and 
the event's normal. You may have to deal with the auras uh, mid-fight, depending on your DPS, since everything in that regards is timed. Curse of the Intruder should be hitting the group fairly soon. For whatever reason, the main tank doesn't get that, at least at the beginning part. Or at least that I notice. Alright, Curse of the Intruder is on the main group. 12 seconds, so Aura is in about Three seconds now, four seconds. All right, the auras are up. You'll see everyone jump in their aura. Once they get their thing, they're gonna get kind of close to us for group heals. You see everyone has the uh, echo of rank one. All right, so Earth is gonna be soon. Earth is there, Shadow is there, you see Allison got banished, and then we're going to have the ice soon, where Drunic will just get tethered. There you go, this is the tethering. And now the next one is going to be Caldivan with the fire. There he goes, and then you see him doing his steps to poop out the fire. Alright, now I got Curse of Intruder. Intruder's Curse. Alright, the auras are going to hit soonish. And this is where the big dots are going to come into play. They're like 160-ish per tick, 160, 180-ish. So you're definitely going to want to do a lot of group heals. Uh, Drunik, your pet, just uh, be careful with it. Alright, or is any second soon? And then we're going to see. Oh, that's the add part, don't need that. Okay, the auras are up. Everyone is going to grab theirs and get a little close to the heal range. And this is going to be the stone one. So that means uh, June is going to be safe from the AE. As you see here, he's not taking damage while the rest of us are.
right so that was successful as far as healing is concerned and basically that's the event we just keep on going now it's a matter of survival yeah you guys don't need to worry about linking it anymore they get the idea here i'd rather you guys just focus on keeping yourselves alive All right, so the effects are starting to happen. They did their aura stuff. Runic for what it's worth, my alliance is coming down in 10 seconds. All right, auras are up. Everyone will get in their auras. You see them break apart, and then they come back quickly for group heal range. And this is going to be the ice one. So that means Drunic is going to be safe from the dot. Uh, I'll explain the task adding requirements at the end when we're a little bit safer. Okay, the auras effects are happening. All right, see how some just got banished. He just did his leak. Right, the ice one is there. So we're working on three, and there's four, and then there's five.
think yours should happen soon. Okay, the ores are there. Can you feel through? Looks like it's three minutes between ores. All right, we're at rank four, so one more round. All right, Keswick is the last one, Caldevin. Uh-oh, did Caldevin not move and drop an aura on people? Well, we were able to heal through it if he didn't, so we're okay. Ah, I see. So yeah, that's very important there. Just make sure that you guys don't... Uh, hurt each other. But we're able to heal through it, so that's okay. So this is another testament of why playing with maps is open, so you can keep track of people. First intruders on. Ours are up. So this is rank five. We're going to DPS this down a little bit. Uh, don't push it through yet, guys. Let's get all our aura uh, mechanics done. But you could DPS it some. Just stop around 65 ish. All right. Except you, June. You need to start running soon. All right, so as you see here, everyone has Echo 5. Well, rank 5 of their respective subs, just, so we just need good DPS now. OK, June is going to be getting his Earth thing now. Good. Now it's going to be Drunic getting his Lurch soon. I'm sorry, uh, Allison Shadow first. There he goes, Allison. And now, uh, Drunix. And now, Caldevin. We can start DPS on this now. We're good. All DPS on this.
you see over here, June's not moving because he likely got trapped. So he'll be okay. It's just that he's not going to be able to participate. All right, so now 60% is the mission as normal. We got to go south. Let's say hi to June. Hey, June. Okay. So with this guy here, he's hit point base when he goes underneath the ground. So you want to give him good DPS because if you keep him up too long, he's going to silence people. So that's bad. So now we look for the giant aura. We stay out of the aura, right, and wait for it to spawn. Keep on looking for it. Same spot. If you're the main tank, you want to stay as close as possible, but not in the aura. Anyone standing in this giant aura here is going to get stunned, and it's something retarded like 10 seconds or something like that. So, this is the part here where DPS, if your DPS is kind of low, um, you may have to deal with the auras again. It's uh, every like three minutes, the aura effects rather. We're going to get orbs soon. There goes the orbs. Drunic is going to be ruining them. The main group is going to stay on Gawler. As soon as Grolic is down, uh, Arendar activates. Oh, same spot. Let's back up a little bit. It didn't look like it took any damage. Right, it's almost the same spot. Guardian, they're just gonna punt the Guardian away. They just punt it, root it away. Yeah, it's health is kinda locked. It probably has a set amount of up and downs that it has to deal with. So the orbs will go away once you kill the golem in airy lanes. Alright, we should kill it now. much at this point is just go for broke. So real quickly talk about task ads. So obviously the you could task add people to give them credits which we will be doing shortly but there are a few little things that we tested out. <clears throat> so uh, let me explain real quickly. As you see here Ganarek and Thranx we did not get the any of the auras so we're clear we don't need to worry about uh, anything as far as that. So I'm going to be tasking, uh, giving task leader to Caldevin. So I could drop myself, no problem, and with Ganarek and myself, and we could add two people. That would be great. Now, if you wanted to add any additional people, right, Drunic, Allison, or Junior in this situation, they would obviously have to task with themselves. And you would have to add the people that you want to add quickly. They, These three guys have to still be in the zone when the chest opens. We tested it out. Someone gated out that had the orb before, and then no one got the credit. So if you're going to remove any of the aura people, you have to add whomever very quickly while they're still in zone and not get kicked out. 
Another thing also to note is once we got those rank 5 auras, if any of those guys die, it's okay. You'll still get the achievement as long as they're in zone at the point of opening up the chest. So I'm not going to bother you guys with um, us doing the task ads, but those are the basic rules of it. So I hope people enjoy this video, and uh, thank you very much. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.